Welcome to the NASA DL Intro Program. I'm Karen Long, Manager for NASA's Digital Learning Network, and we'll spend a few minutes with you talking about our program and how to navigate our website. This program is required for all new registrants of NASA's Digital Learning Network site, but feel free to access it for a refresher at any time. The DLN offers a unique learning environment with live, engaging, and interactive programs. We also offer access to NASA resources and facilities and encourage innovation and collaborative learning with your students. DLN studios reside at all 10 of NASA centers across the United States. You and your students have access to our education experts all over the nation. DLN programming falls into three main categories, content modules, which are preset STEM curriculum offered at your convenience from each site presented in an inquiry format with a complete learning cycle including pre-activities, a live event, and post-activities, professional development for educators that enhance professional knowledge, and finally special events with various guests. Oftentimes these special guests are events or webcasts for the general public on our website. You can connect with NASA's DLN through a variety of means. Our preferred method is through video conferencing or codec. This uses H.323 technology and provides fast connections with clear pictures and audio. In order to connect in this way, your school must have a codec. These are manufactured through several companies, but the most common are Tanberg, Polycom, and Sony. If your school does not have a codec, it may be possible to do an event through Skype or Illuminate. When you fill out the registration form, please indicate your desire to connect via web conferencing if you do not have a codec at your school. So, how do you register for one of our modules? Go to our website, dln.nasa.gov, and become a registered user first. Once your registration is complete, you will scan our module catalog page and register for an event. When the NASA Center confirms your event, you will schedule a test call to test your equipment and then complete the pre-activities before your event occurs. On the scheduled day and time of the module, you will dial into the IP address we send to you and participate in the module with your class. At the conclusion of the event, you and your students will complete our evaluation survey. It's that simple. Now let's take a tour of the website so you can get an advanced preview of how to navigate your way around. On our home page in the blue DLN user box to the left, you will need to click the blue New User Registration link first. Registration is free and you only need to do it once. Complete the areas indicated on the registration page. Because NASA's Digital Learning Network is funded through U.S. taxpayer dollars, we directly serve U.S. schools and its territories. International schools can connect to the DLN by partnering with a U.S. school. If you're a U.S. school and wish to be an international partner, make sure you click the Yes radio button in this section that indicates you are willing to act as an international school sponsor. Enter your school's zip code in this area. If your school name does not appear in the drop-down menu, you will need to click on the Add Organization button to add your school and its organization details before you continue. Complete the name and address area, making sure you only give your school email and school physical address information. Create a password and then indicate the grade levels that you teach along with the subject areas. This information is extremely important as it helps us to determine how best to address our audience before the live events happen. You will then choose your representative type. If you are a teacher registering only for yourself, select myself. If you are registering to represent an entire school or district, select multiple user. Complete the word verification section and then click submit at the very bottom of the page. Once you've registered, you'll be able to log into our website. Look to the left on our home page in the DLN user blue box and click the sign in link. At the login page, you will be able to type in your username and password. Please note the username is case sensitive. If you forget your password, just enter the login information here and it will be e emailed to you. Now that you are signed into the site, you can register for any one of our STEM-based modules. Click on the event catalog link on the left side of the page. You can read about any one of our modules by clicking on the active links in the titles. If you would like to search through our modules, you can do so by clicking on the search event link on the left or you can just look through each offering a page at a time. On the module description page, 
you will find more detailed information about what each module contains. Note that most modules are hosted by several centers, give, offering you more choices to schedule at a time that's convenient to your class. Make sure to read all of the information on the event description page, including the pre-activities that you are required to do before you participate in the live event. It is very important that pre-activities are done with your students because they prepare the kids for the material they will encounter during the interactive event. Each module is presented in the 5e inquiry format and lists the national STEM standards that are met through its presentation. Once you are satisfied that this module will meet your students' needs, click the blue register button on the top right of the page. We are now on the registration page for the module, Directive. Mapping the Moon with WALL-E. Note the minimum delivery time for this event is 30 minutes and the maximum delivery time is 60 minutes. Your information is auto-filled directly below this section as is your organization details. For registrants that are indicated as multiple users, representing more teachers than just themselves, you will need to select the specific teacher for which you are registering this event. Every teacher that you represent must be in this database. If your teachers have not registered within the system, then you will click the red Add User link and include them. You will not see your own name in this list because, by definition, you are representing others. For those that are single users, you will not see this section. As you scroll down the registration page, you will see the NASA centers that are qualified to present this module. Note that when you select a center, the calendars in this section will change to reflect that center's availability. Dates in blue indicate the center is available. Dates in red and crossed out indicate the day is not available for selection. If you see a date in green, this indicates that the center is offering this module on this day with another school and has opened up the session for another school to join. Having these opportunities allows your students to meet and share the module with another school located anywhere in the U.S. I'll talk more about this in a second. Once you've selected a date, it will autofill in the selected date box in this section, and a list of times will appear in the Request Start and End Times boxes. Select the times that you would like for this event to occur. In the Other Information box, select the grade level of students that will be participating in the event. If there is more than one grade level, use the control button to select multiple grades. You must also indicate the estimated number of participants. A minimum number of 15 participants is required for anyone initiating an event with a DLN. Your event will not be approved if at least 15 participants cannot be selected. If you are joining another school previously scheduled, then this requirement does not apply. To see if there are dates available to join another school, click the green Click Here link to take you to this next page. This page shows all of the events that have been opened by the DLN Education Specialist for participation with more than one class. The date and time area will be auto-filled with your desired time and module choice. However, you have the option of changing these presets to show a wider area of possibilities. The approved events criteria will confirm your choices in the date and time information box. If there is a center that has indicated they have an open slot to join another pre-scheduled class, that information will appear in the boxes of that center. Below the register title on the right in each center's box area will be a registration button. Click that button to continue your registration. If no button appears, then none of the centers have opened up additional slots to join the event that day or at that time with another class. Now, let's go back to the main registration page. Once all the information on this page has been completed, you will see at the very bottom a register button. Click this button to forward your request to the NASA center that you have indicated as your presenter of choice. That center will receive your request and respond within two to five business days if they accept. Once you have received an email from the DLN Education Specialist, you will want to go back to your information page. Please note that you can only register for a maximum of four events within a 24-hour period. To find your scheduled events, go to the blue DLN user box and click on the My Events hotlink. All of the events that you have completed and are waiting on confirmation will be listed here. Each event number is hotlinked to the details page for that event, so you can see more information about that scheduled event. On the right, you will see the approved, 
test call connection, and confirm and schedule columns with either green checks or red X's in those columns. A check indicates that this task has been completed. An X indicates that it has not been done as of yet. Finally, when you need to confirm an event, the word confirm will appear. In a nutshell, here's what happens. Once you've registered for an event, the DLN Education Specialist at that center will approve your event, sending you an email indicating that you will need to do a test call. Once you have completed the test call, a check will appear in the box. At this point, you will be asked to confirm that you indeed want to do this event at the scheduled time. You will then click on the Confirm link to complete this step. After all three columns have a green check, you know you're a go for your event. Once your module has been presented to your students, it is very important that you complete the evaluation. We are required by the federal government to have these evaluations completed as a measure of our effectiveness to show that we are using your taxpayer dollars wisely. And it is these evaluations that keep our service completely free to the students and teachers that we serve. Once your event is completed, please click on the Feedback Forms link on the left side of the web page and then find the name of the center that presented your module. For example, if Glenn Research Center presented a professional development module to teachers at your school, you would then have those teachers complete the short-term experience educator end of event survey under Glenn Research Center. Likewise, if you did a student-based module with Glenn Research Center, you will have your students collect the student end of, end of event short activity survey under Glenn Research Center. If it's too difficult for your entire class to fill out these surveys in a computer lab setting, it would be extremely helpful to us for you to poll your students for the answers to the questions located on these surveys and for you to put input the information. Our modules are not the only way that you can access NASA's Digital Learning Network. We also offer special events. If you click the special events link on the left side of the page, our catalog for these special events will open. And like the event catalog, you can click the blue titles for each special event to get more details and information for how to sign up for these special opportunities. Another way to become involved with the DLN is to participate in one of our many webcasts. When new webcasts are scheduled, we list those opportunities in this section. You can access those webcasts by clicking the DL Info Channel link located on the left at the appointed day and time of that webcast. You will be asked to fill out a brief survey, and once you've submitted that survey, will be given access to the webcast players. Finally, be sure to check out the DLN announcements section each time you come to our site. We update this area when new and exciting opportunities are available for all of our customers, and this area will be one of the first ways that you will be given notice about them. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. You can search for our page by typing in NASA Digital Learning Network in the search box and then adding us to your feeds by clicking like. Our Facebook page is updated with all of our webcasts, special events, and what's happening within the DLN and is one of the easiest ways to keep up with us. At any time, if you have any questions about modules that you have scheduled, please contact the DLN Education Specialist to sign for your event. You can find their contact information in the Contact Us link to the left and then scrolling through the center names to find the specialist that you need to talk to. Or for any general questions, my contact information is here for you. Thank you all for joining me for this brief deal intro and feel free to access this tutorial at any time for a refresher. Until next time, I'll see you on the DLN.